What's up guys? Welcome to another Cav Coliseum episode. It's been a little bit since we've been back here, but uh, today we got quite a lot of stuff we're going to be doing today. Uh, quite a few captures. I just finished all the overlays yesterday for them all and uh, everything else, so it's going to be really, really interesting. So I think we're going to dive right on into it here. <clears throat> I got everything sorted. Let me get my pack out here. Do to the right page and there we go so I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna capture our first our first uh, our, our fourth shadow Pokemon today talk to this guy here dual square here we go those of you guys that missed out on the last episode, um, I do have a playlist set up on the channel. Uh, just click on the channel and it should be the first playlist after the uploads, so check that out. But we're going to get into it here with Rider Dover. <clears throat> so, Rider Dover here has Noctowl and Letipa. His shadow Pokemon is going to be his Noctowl. Uh, we're going to send out Quilava and Espeon. They should be able to handle this pretty easily. Now, Garish is going to trigger here. Talking about Noctowl having the Black Aura. Now, Noctowl is a very interesting Pokemon. He's a normal flying type from Generation 2. Every generation has a normal flying type Pokemon that you can usually snap, you can usually capture early on in the games. And they've transferred over Noctowl to this game for that purpose. Uh, Noctowl is one of my favorites as far as this goes. Uh, he's got some really good stats, uh, very nice HP, very good speed, uh, very nice special defense as well. Uh, his moveset's very interesting. You get Hypnosis and Reflect. So um, he works very well in pairing with Espeon, where you can always make sure you have a Reflect Wall up. Um, he also gets Fly, which is your first flying type move you'll be able to get access to. And Hypnosis is very nice because it puts Pokemon to sleep. Now, like I said, you can always call your Pokemon to wake them up. Your opponent, however, cannot. So, we're going to take care of this Letaba real quick-like. And I think I'm going to get a Reflect up because both of them are physical. Now, because, as I mentioned before, um, flying kind of has the same um, type effectiveness as fire. So I don't think we're... I, if we do use Noctowl on the team, I'm not too sure how much we're going to use him for. Because his other specialty is he usually has lots of uh, the same abilities that Espeon has. Like Confusion and whatnot. So it's going to be interesting if I do decide to use him on the team. Because there's some better... Or her, actually, if I do decide, decide to use her on the team. Uh, there's some better Pokemon out there, but Noctowl is very good to start with and will be very useful in the boss battle we'll have him in. So I think I think we'll stick with Noctowl for the first boss battle. Okay, so I got the Reflect up. I'm going to use Helping Hand on Quillava there. And that's going to help out Quillava with his stats a little bit more. Down with the Lidiba. And Espeon's gonna get a level, nice. <coughs> so, Wingle. Wingle's an interesting Pokemon. It's water flying, meaning it's gonna have some super effective damage it'll do against Quilava, so I wanna get Quilava off the field here now. Now, actually, I want to switch on into Mischievous. Now, Espeon here. I'm going to use Return with Espeon. Uh, I shouldn't kill it with the Return, so we should be alright here. Mischievous I'm putting on the field mostly so that um, it can, it can uh, be immune to damage here. Ooh, the Reflect. Okay, now I'm going to use Confusion. Now that I saw the damage that Return did, Confusion should be, should be, confusion should be all right. Lower my attack, okay. So we'll Shadow Rush this Wingle. Um, ooh, then again, yeah. 
I think I'm going to stick with Return. They do have the Reflect up, so you'll see how minimal damage we'll do right here. But I, I'm very cautious about wanting to use uh, Sidekick. Okay, he's going back up in the air. I'm going to see if I can capture him when he's flying. Usually when a Pokemon uses Fly, it's, it's a two-turn move. The first turn, they'll go up in the air, so you can't attack them that turn. And then the second turn, they will, uh, they will do their attack. And depending on their speed stat... Uh, if they attack first or second, they could be immune for two turns. Or they'll, they'll be immune for pretty much one turn, but uh, you can get around that pretty easily. So I think I'm going to deal with the Wingle real quick, just to get it off the field. Alright, Wingle down. Noctowl is going to use Fly. Mr. Viss isn't going to take a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be too bad. Okay, Shadow Rush did absolutely nothing. Good, good. Okay, our, our Reflect wore off, so I think what I'm going to do then, just in case I don't capture it this turn... I'm going to put up a Reflect with Espeon. So we'll capture it on Mr. Viss's turn, and I'll put up a reflect on Espeon's turn. That way, so just in case, I can still maintain that reflect wall. Oh no. Here we go. Okay, is he Shadow Rush? Did a little bit of damage, not a whole lot. But he's put himself in the yellow. So we'll do this. We'll use Helping Hand on Mischievous. And as long as he doesn't use Fly, I think Mischievous will be able to hit him. Oh no. Okay, good. He missed. Oh, come on! I swear. Now we gotta call Mischievous. I might as well just use Return then with Espeon. Okay. There we go, cool. Alright, I think that's all the damage I want to do. And you put my SP on to sleep. Damn it. Alright, so we'll throw a Pokeball at it this turn with Mr. Viss's turn. Now that it's in the yellow. Then I'm going to call Espeon to wake Espeon up. Oh man, this Noctowl. He is being frustrating. There we go, Espeon wakes up, and is Hypnosis going to put her back to sleep? Yes, it will. <laughs> Uh, Alright, same process. Now it's just a matter of catching this damn thing. Because I don't want to put too much damage onto it. Um, I'm afraid Mischievous might kill it, and Espeon might kill it as well. Because the last thing I want to do is use Return or use Shadow Rush, bring it down to the red, and then have it off itself with, shadow, with its own Shadow Rush off of the recoil. There we go! Noctowl has been captured. And this Noctowl does have a name. Our good friend Tiddens is uh, now part of the team. Of course, we can't actually name him until we purify him, but just know that Tiddens is a member of the team. This attack becomes more likely to be critical hits. Oh, I forgot about that part of it. So I'm going to go heal at the PC here real quick, and we'll capture the next member of our team. Or the next, we'll capture the next uh, Shadow Pokemon here shortly. These battles are definitely going to be very, very difficult, uh, but I think we can work with it. We'll also take a look at our Noctowl while we're here. I think I'm going to need more. I think I'm going to need more balls as well, so I'm going to probably run and grab some more of those too. 
So first things first, take a look at Noctowl. What do we got? Keen Eye for its ability there. Very nice, very nice. I think it's the only ability it gets. No, it can get Insomnia as well. Insomnia means it can't go to sleep. So you can't put this Pokemon to sleep at all. Keen Eye uh, means that any attempts of loss of accuracy, like Smokescreen from Quilava, would not work on it. Alright, very decent stats. Um, Noctowl doesn't hit very hard, but like I said, that's a lot of HP you get to work with there, and its special defense is very, very high. Uh, so, unlike Espeon, who's a glass cannon, Noctowl can... You can throw Noctowl onto the field, and Noctowl will take quite a bit of punishment with a Reflect Up. So I think we're going to stick with that then. Alright, so let's go... Let's check items first. I have six Great Balls, and there are three more Pokemon we need to... Now, there's five Pokemon we need to capture still. I don't like those odds because of how often Pokemon will break out. So we're going to get some more Balls first before we uh, continue on. Meaning I have to exit all the way out of this damn town and then go to, um, what you want to call it, go to the uh, outskirt uh, stand and buy Pokeballs from there. So I think our next individual, let me check here. Do 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 do. The bandana guy. That's who we're going for. Alright. The bandana guy it is. So let's go up here. And we'll get our Pokeballs. So we got 2,440. Um, usually I like to buy just Pokeballs. How many can I get? I can get 12 in total, or I can get four Great Balls. So I think I'm going to go with 12 Pokeballs. That'll do. And he's going to throw in a Pyramid Ball. Nice. So anytime you buy a set of 10 Pokeballs, he will give you a Premier Ball as well. So I'm going to sell these Great Balls then. Oh, let me go see if I have anything else to sell. Uh, Torment, I'm not really going to use, so I'm going to sell that real quick. Do, 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 do. Um, and I think we're good on the rest. So now I'm going to use that money to buy some more healing items, actually. Actually. Let's buy ten more. And I'll save the rest of my money. So there we go. We got 23. 3 plus 2, 25 Pokeballs, pretty much. So that'll help out there. Premier Ball does the, has the same stats as a Pokeball as far as its catch rate, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Alright, back in town. Let's go up to the shop over here real quick and uh, get some healing items. <laughs> Almost, I just passed the shop because it's so inconspicuous here. <clears throat> All right, I think I'm gonna get. Yeah, we'll get one more super potion. Do 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 do. And I think that's it. So <laughs> yeah, just a super potion, and we're good. Okay. Alright, so, Bandana Guy. This guy right here is our next victim. <coughs> Bandana Guy Devel, huh? <coughs> He's gonna send out a Quagsire and a Psyduck. So, I think I still have Quilava in the front of my party, which means he needs to get switched out instantly. Quagsire is water ground, and Psyduck is pure water. Meaning, Quilava's not going to have a good time. And speaking of Quagsire, 
Quagsire himself is a shadow Pokemon. Quagsire is a bit of a sleeper. People tend to um, people tend to underestimate him a lot. He can be very, very effective very quickly. Uh, his abilities are Damp or Water Absorb, both of which can be very, very useful. Um, moves he gets, of course, he'll get Surf uh, as his fourth move, um, while still maintaining Shadow Rush, that is. Uh, surf is very, very effective. It'll hit both Pokemon on the opposite end, and it's very, very powerful because of its uh, base power of uh, 95 meaning it's using 95% of its uh, special attack stat t to do damage, so very, very useful. It also gets Amnesia, which helps it defensively. Uh, Mudshot is what it gets, but you'll most likely pick up Earthquake before then. Earthquake you learn at level 42, and Earthquake is very, very useful as it'll hit every Pokemon on the field except for itself, and it does massive amounts of damage, so Quagsire very, very clutch Pokemon, especially in this game. So we're definitely going to catch him onto the team. And uh, his name is Einhart. Our boy Einhart is uh, our Quagsire today. Uh, like I said, let's get Quilava off the field right away. <laughs> I think we're going to switch into Noctowl here. And then, as always, I'm going to get that Reflect up with uh, Espeon. There we go, there's our Noctowl, there's Tiddens. Espeon's gonna throw up that Reflect, that'll help us out a lot. <clears throat> and here's Amnesia. Amnesia's gonna be very frustrating to work with as it raises its special defense. Oh, we, got, we want that Psyduck off the field ASAP, because it, um, it has Disable, and the last thing I want it to do is disable a move that I want. So we'll clear this guy out as quickly as possible. That's it. Goodbye, Psyduck. So Surf is the move we're going to have to look out for. Um, I don't expect it to do too much. <clears throat> but that Shadow Rush did a lot of damage, even with the Reflect up. So we want to be careful about that. I think I'm actually going to... Oh, he only has two Pokemon. Okay. I think I'm going to switch out to Umbreon here to help out. And we'll just work with Noctowl to do the damage. Nice. Good damage. Good damage. Okay. Keep it going here. So with Quagsire's typing being water ground, he only has one weakness, and uh, that weakness is um, that weakness. Oh come on! That weakness that he has is going to be uh, grass. He's he has a quad effective weakness against grass, so we do have to watch out for that. But with that weakness, uh, it means he's not weak to anything else, so he can be very very useful on the team, and he works as a great pairing for Mischievous as well. Mr. Viss obviously has Levitate, so it's immune to ground attacks, meaning that uh, you can really kind of Earthquake as much as you want and not have to worry about your own Pokemon. Ooh, that critical, that was a little spicy. And he's confused. Okay. Definitely want to throw a Pokeball ASAP. Wow, yes. Definitely want a Pokeball out right now. It's not as much damage as I thought it would be, but we don't want him to get too many of those out, <laughs> especially because our Reflect just wore off. So Noctowl's turn. Uh, he doesn't have Reflect yet. That's right. Whoops. Let's get Mistrevis out there to help out. And I'm going to throw a Pokeball. Come here, Ideheart. You're now one of us. Come on. Come on. I don't want to prolong this battle. This is... Uh, Oh no, <laughs> that's not a good sign. Get Noctowl off the field, throw up Mischievous. I don't want to do any damage to it, because if he uses Shadow Rush, he's going to take recoil damage. Ooh, that's nasty. I want Mischievous off the field now as well. 
Um, I can't put Quilava on the field due to that. Ah, uh, Espeon's the way to go, I think. But yeah, I, I can't damage him, because if I damage him and he hurts himself in confusion or takes recoil damage, uh, that's a dead Quagsire, and I don't want that. We're 100%ing this, remember that. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? I hate that. That's the worst thing about Pokemon is when it does its uh, three twitches and then it oh, it breaks open at the end. That That's the worst feeling ever. Come on, hit yourself in confusion at least. Thank you. That's all I ask for sometimes. So, gonna reflect up with Espeon and another Pokeball out. Or next, we'll throw a Premier Ball just because I'm OCD. And Mr. Einhart is definitely worthy of a Premier Ball. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be quite an atrocious battle. I could already tell. Don't hit yourself too hard. Okay, we need to capture him this turn or else it's all over. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And I can't do anything with Umbreon, so I'm just going to call him. Please, Einhart. Come on, come on. Come on, Einhart. Let's do it. No! Ah! Oh, no! Oh. I think it just killed itself. I think Einhart just killed himself. Nope, nope, he's still in there. He's still in this. Oh boy. This is a fight and a half. Come on, Einhart. Let's do it. Oh, come on. Come on! Don't do me like this, Einhart! <laughs> okay, he, sn he snapped out, he's using Slam. Good, 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 good. It's a little bit of a breather there. He's no longer gonna hurt himself in confusion. If he uses Shadow Rush, he still might kill himself. So we wanna be careful of that. I'm just hitting call on Umbreon because I don't want to use any of his moves due to just anything it could do to him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Welcome to the team, Ironheart! Whoo! Oh, man. Whoo! Need to calm down a little bit after that. Jesus. There we go. Mr. Einhart's on the team. We're going to get him healed up real quick. <laughs> oh, man. I have three more of these to do. Three or four more, something like that, of these to do. Oh, Jesus. My heart... My heart hurts. Oh. So let's take a look at Mr. Einhart here. Mr. Einhart with damp, meaning that uh, Pokemon that use uh, moves like self destruct or explosion will not damage him at all. <laughs> so that's the really good thing about him. And there's his water ground typing. <sighs> Very useful Pokemon. He's going to the front of the party for now. Quilava is doing pretty good so far, but uh, I think it's time he takes a little bit of a break. Um, he should actually be getting another move here shortly. 
and I think it's time to do some team. It's, it's almost time to do some team management because we're about to get another really powerful Pokemon here. Let me check and see which one it is, who it belongs to. <laughs> It's going to be the street performer. All right. So we're going to go capture the next member of the team. The next member of the team is a very, very useful Pokemon that's most definitely going to be part of the endgame crew uh, due to its very, very useful abilities. Um, it, it's probably one of the most versatile Pokemon in the game aside from Quagsire. So we'll get going here. Street Performer Diogo. Here we go. She's going to send out a Flaffy and a Shroomish. Um, I think it's obvious we can tell which one's going to be the more useful one. Garish is going to trigger here and he's going to talk about which one of these is the Shadow Pokemon. Um, which is going to be the Flaffy. So, Flaffy is a very, very useful Pokemon. It evolves into Ampharos. Um, it's a pure electric type with the static ability, meaning if it makes any physical contact with the Pokemon, it has a chance to paralyze it. Uh, very, very high special attack off this Pokemon. Uh, it, also, it also has Cotton Spore as an ability, or as a move that it learns, which uh, is very, very useful for the fact that Cotton Spore increases its defense much like reflect does and speaking of defenses it can learn light screen at level 42 light screen being a very useful move in tandem with espion so espion's reflect will reduce uh attack moves that use physical attack stat light screen will reduce special attack stat moves so water fire grass all those that stuff that's all special attacking that having both screens up at the same time means you'll reduce, you'll half any damage that comes your way. Uh, not to mention it learns Thunderbolt, Thundershock, and Thunder Wave, meaning it can cause paralysis as well. Uh, Flaffy's and its evolution, Ampharos, are very, very useful, um, even to this day in modern Pokemon games. So, uh, we're definitely going to capture it. I have Quagsire on the field because Quagsire is water ground, meaning he can um, completely negate anything this Flaffy throws at him. <laughs> uh, Espeon's the only one that's going to have to worry here, but I think I'm going to switch out for Umbreon once I get the Reflect up here, that way so we have it. <clears throat> and Quagsire is in Hyper Mode. Great. There we go. Does it affect Quagsire? Uh, this Shroomish needs to go. Uh, that's one thing I need to get rid of right away before it does anything too annoying, like it's doing right now with Stun Spore. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we'll call Clagsire, and we'll use Confusion on the Shroomish here. Let's get it done. There we go, there's Cotton Spore. So you see Cotton Spore here? Oh no, 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 no. Cotton Guard is what increases defense. Cotton Spore lowers your speed. So Quagsire obviously, his speed is very, very low, but uh, so it's not really going to matter to him too much, <laughs> luckily. Come on, Espeon. There we go, Shroomish down. Don't have to deal with that annoyance anymore. Thundershot going out. Okay, good. It didn't do too much to Espeon. <clears throat> Whoa! That's a lot of damage. Alright, Mr. Quagsire. <laughs> Your turn is now going to be devoted towards throwing Pokeballs, because that's a little bit too much damage-wise. Uh, I don't even know what to hit this thing with. I don't want to hit it with anything from Espeon. Uh, let's swap out Espeon for Umbreon here just to burn the turn. <clears throat> I 
I think we just caught it. Sweet! There we go. So, Flaffy slash Ampharos is now on the team, and that's another battle down. All right. And I think I want to put that Flaffy in the party, but it just means we're going to have to... Okay, cool. So it's talking about Shadow Rush. Nobody cares. Let's go back to the PC again real quick. I know I'm like, I'm heal, I'm heal spamming right now, but I need to like, actually, instead of doing that, let me just heal up manually. That's why I have all those items, obviously, <laughs> is to just do that. Stops me from going to the PC constantly. But I did say I was going to switch up Pokemon. I think I want to wait till I capture everybody before I switch out anything. That way, so we have it all there and available. Whoops. Wrong button. So we'll use the potions. Just so we burn through a... Uh, there we go. And I'll use one of my paralyzed heals to fix up Quagsire there. Alright, so the next Pokemon we're going to grab... I think it's the last one in this damn square, is this chick. And I want to make sure I don't have Quagsire in the front of the party, because I know what she has. We'll throw a Noctowl up there. That way so we have two very good walls in front. Well then, Miss Ryder Liba. What kind of makeup is that? That's that's the real question. Like, I need to send Garish after you. She's gonna send out a Skip Plume and an Oddish. So luckily we did switch out Quagsire. It's almost like I knew. <laughs> because Quagsire would have not had a great time with two grass types on the field. Skip Plume is the shadow Pokemon for this trainer. It's a uh, it's a grass flying type, so very unique typing there. But grass flying is a lot different compared to. Um, it's actually worse because water ground is a good typing because it negates, it bounces out its own weaknesses. Grass flying, however, just adds on more weaknesses on top of what it's already weak to. So it's not the greatest typing in the world. And Skip Plume itself is kind of an interesting Pokemon. Uh, it evolves into Jumpluff, which is a very, very fast Pokemon. However, its moveset is... it doesn't learn anything. You, you learn everything through TM. Uh, that's, that's the best you'll get, basically. I can learn... actually, no, it has everything it knows already. Uh, so Skip Plume, yeah, I don't think I'm going to use it on the team if I do capture it. It's... It's not something that I'm very keen on using, <laughs> but uh, it does have some very good utility uses with uh, Sleep Powder, uh, being able to put Pokemon to sleep. We already have Noctowl. Noctowl has Hypnosis, so I think we're good there. <laughs> so I think uh, while we're still going to capture this Skip Plume, I don't think it's going to be used at all. So first things first, speaking of sleep, we're going to put that to sleep, and I'm going to knock out this Oddish, because it's it's poison grass. Espeon, of course, is psychic, and that should be a one hit. There we go. Down with the Oddish. And next we got a Dust Tox on the field. Dust Tox is bug flying. It's going to be a little bit of an issue to deal with, but I think we'll be able to handle him. Okay, so Skip Plume, luckily it has Mega Drain, meaning it can do what it wants to do the way it wants to. So you don't have to worry too much about it, uh, losing too much health, because it can always gain health back. So I think we're going to get rid of this Dust Ox here next. I'm going to get a Reflect up real quick, just in case, for the sh to help out with Shadow Rush. Okay. Good, you be asleep. Be asleep, my friend. Alright. Pretty basic moves out of this Dust Ox here. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to hit it with a return. 
the skip plume, just so I can do damage to it. Okay, good. It should be able to take some. And it's not it's out of the fight, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Ooh, Noctowl's gonna go into hyper mode here. Okay. <laughs> Using Oh, come on! You just had to confuse him. Wow. Okay, I see how it is. Bring Noctowl back to his senses here. Quit huffing about, my dude. Alright, that's good damage-wise. I think we're going to throw a Pokeball next. <clears throat> Alright, Noctowl. Shadow Rush that. And throw a Pokeball on Espeon's turn. Actually, since... Noctowl is confused. I will throw the Pokeball in his turn. <clears throat> and Espeon can use Confusion on the Dustox, which is gonna. It's not gonna be very effective, but it's damage, and it's gonna do more damage than Return will, I think. So, best to just get more damage out there. And that's the Skip Plume caught. Cool. So we're going to leave the overlay blank today because I'm not sure exactly what I want to put on the team. Um, I know some members that are going to stay, I know some that aren't, but uh, after this episode we're definitely going to do, I'm definitely going to take the time to really craft the team I want. And remember, this team that I craft will only be eligible to fight up to Mirror B if you look at the boss tracker. Um, after that, I can't uh, use them anymore. And given the fact that during the Mirror B boss fight, all your Pokemon... Are... Actually, I should change that. Hmm. I might look at that to be different, because otherwise I'm going to be using Pokemon that are named that I won't be able to use until the boss fight after. And that's going to be kind of a long time before they uh, can be used again. So, we're going to go over and we're going to do the thing over here. And then we have one more Pokemon we need to capture. Do, 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 do. Technically two, but uh, I think I'm going to save that for... I'm gonna, I think I'm going to save the last Pokemon, which the last Pokemon we need to capture is Atherton for the next episode, because I think I have to do the Colosseum battle here first before I can do that. So we'll swing on over and we'll get the next Pokemon on the docket today. It's off of this guy. Roller Boy Lawn. I think he just called me a little boy at the start there. Like, who do you think you are? He's going to send out a Slugma and an Azuril. All right. Here comes Noctowl and here comes Espeon to the fray. So, Slugma is his shadow Pokemon. Slugma is the only other fire type you get in the game aside from Quillava. He's very, very defensive based as well. Uh, and on top of that, he gets lots of rock type moves too. So he can be very effective to use against flying type Pokemon and uh, some other, other Pokemon as well that are weak against rock. So keep that in mind. Um, he will evolve into Magcargo at level 38, so basically once you purify him, he should have enough levels on him that he will evolve. And uh, he gets Flamethrower in his starting moveset, and Flamethrower is very, like, like Surf, Flamethrower is very, very effective. It only does damage to a single target, but it's that 95 base power that you're looking at. That's the key to it. Um, he'll also get Rock Throw and Yawn, so again, another sleeper. Um, Yawn well, is a two-turn sleep move, but it's it's a lot a, a lot more accurate than um, than say hypnosis is or uh, sleep powder is. So we keep that in mind as well. Uh, his move set leveling up, he doesn't get anything else aside from rock slide and then body slam later. Body slam he gets really far later on down the line. His abilities are magma armor and flame body, both of which I think if they make contact with the opponent 
they will uh, burn. They will set up a burn on them, much like Flaffy's static, but with burn instead. So we're gonna clean him up, and we're gonna capture him. I'm gonna use hypnosis on him before he can use yawn on me because I don't want to deal with that. And we're also gonna confuse the. We're gonna use confusion on the Azuril. Ooh, very nice critical hit there, and that'll take care of that little bouncing ball real quick, like. And here comes an Igly buff. Eh, this will be this will be easy breezy to deal with. All right, cool. So we're gonna put the Sugma to sleep. It's not gonna be able to do anything now. Cool, cool. So uh, I think I'm gonna Shadow Rush the Igly buff, and then I'm gonna use. Hmm, I'm gonna use Return on Slugma. Wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> wow, we almost one-shotted that Igly buff, too. Oh, pff, oh, one turn. Only took him one turn to wake up, and he's going to Flamethrower me. Ooh, boy. Espeon, hold up there. Jesus. That was a, that's that's a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, you're going back to sleep, Mr. Slug, but I can't take another one of those from you unless I throw out. Let me put Quagsire out there. Actually, that's a great idea. Boom! Mr. Quagsire has hit the field. Oh, he missed that time. So he's, we're gonna eat another flamethrower here. And look at the difference in the damage there. Quagsire. Oh, he gets burned, though. Man. That's no fun. So we need to take care of that ASAP. Um, I think we're ready to capture this guy, so I'm not going to worry too much about him. You know what? I'm going to try Hypnosis one more time, and I'm going to get rid of this Igly buff. Let's do that. Ah, I missed again. And he went into Hyper Mode, so I skipped my turn completely. <laughs> Where are you hitting this time? You're hitting Noctowl? Ooh, that's spicy. That needs to stop. Alright, we need him off the field. That's, uh, that's priority one. Okay, so, run a Hypnosis again. We'll call Quagsire. Please, please hit your Hypnosis. Can't be taking any more of those. There we go. Yes, thank you, Noctowl. The worst would have been like, and I've had it happen before, it really sucks using two Shadow Pokemon at the same time, because both of them can go to Hyper Mode at the same time, and then you can call both of them out, and then one of them will go into Hyper Mode, and the other one won't, and it's just, it's a train wreck. <laughs> Alright, so, Noctowl's done his thing, let's throw, let's start throwing Pokeballs. And... Quagsire, you can Shadow Rush the Igly buff. Come on, Mr. Slugma! Join my team! Come on, buddy. That's that's the way I like it. That's how we do. Oh, and he's got a Swablu. Okay. Alright. Get rid of the Igly buff, and then we're going to swap out Quagsire here, because he's taking a lot of damage. Swablu is... Swablu is normal flying. It's, um... Evolved form is a dragon type. So I think I'm going to switch out both of them here. I'm going to switch out... There we go, and then we'll switch out Quagsire for... Quilava. I think that'll work. Alright, Mr. Viss is going to hit the field, as well Quillava. Alright, Swablu is going to use Peck here. I'm going to do nothing to Mr. Viss. <laughs> Mr. Viss will use Shadow Rush, and Quillava has Dig now, which is good. Nice. Alright, 
this will be a pretty easy breezy battle. It's going to be a little boring from here on out. Oh, come on, Mr. Fist, don't be that way. So because it's flying type, I can't use dig because flying is immune to, to ground type. So we just have to keep shadow rushing. <clears throat> there we go. God, just gonna keep pecking away at Mischievous here. It's so annoying. There we go, he's done. Alright. And that, my friends, let me double check, that was our last member of the team to capture today. Whole lot of catching going on here. We've just uh, added quite a few resources to our team. Now we just need to sit down, take a look at who we want to bring, and take a look at who we want to train up for uh, the Mirror B fight. As that's our big boss we got to deal with. We do have a Colosseum battle we need to partake in. Um, and there's one more Shadow Pokemon we need to capture before we go into the next kind of big section. So we do have all that going on. Uh, but taking a look at our team members here, we have Flaffy, we got Skipplume, and we got Slugma in the box. Um, let's take a look here. So, Flaffy with Static, of course, and there you can see it. Some very good special attacking there. Uh, Decent-ish, actually, special defense, surprisingly. And then we have Chlorophyll on Skipplume. Uh, like I said, very, very fast Pokemon. Decent special defense, actually. I wasn't expecting that. In Kind of good defense, all right. And then there we go, Slugma with Magma Armor. Unfortunately, Magma Armor just prevents freezing; it doesn't do anything else really. So we do have to deal with that. But look at that special attack! That special attack with the flamethrower he was doing. Yikes! That was something else, I will say. <laughs> So, um, we're going to definitely take a look. I don't think Slugma, unfortunately, is going to get used due to the fact that we do have Quilava. Quilava is a very useful Pokemon indeed. But, um, I think I might... So, just just spitballing ideas here. We have Tiddens on the team already. I can't... I don't want to get rid of him because it's Tiddens. Um, Espeon's very useful, but I might... Get, I might put Espeon in the box just so I can use Espeon for future battles. Umbreon I could use, so I think we're gonna do that. Yeah, uh, I, this is just con. This is just concept here. I'm not a hundred percent on what I want to do. Hmm. I'm trying to think the Mirror B fight. Noctowl is gonna be very useful for the Mirror B fight. Um, Mischievous won't be. Mischievous will be very useful for one later on. Ironically enough, Skip Plume will be very useful for the Mirror B fight. So we'll take we'll take Skip Plume and Do I wanna take Quagsire? Do I wanna take Quagsire or do I wanna take Quilava? Hmm. I already have kind of a draft in my head of who I wanna take for what. Um, we're going to capture more Pokemon before Mirror B, obviously. This isn't all that we have, but I'm just kind of framing in my head who I want to bring for what now. Uh, so we'll put Espeon back on the team for now, just because it's a, she's a very nice Pokemon to have. He, she, whatever. Very useful Pokemon to have, so we'll do that. That'll work out for now. All right. And I think we're going to call it an episode. Lots of lots of very suspenseful moments. Mr. Einhart himself came came up to play and oh my goodness, Einhart really Einhart did a number on us, I will say. Either way, guys, if you enjoyed this, uh, please leave a like down below. Subscribe for more content, of course. Leave a comment. I, I try to reply to any old comments that I possibly can and I try to um, I try to have a conversation in the comments with as many of you that I possibly can as well. Uh, if you're a CAV member, check out the link below to take part in the CAV Coliseum journey. It's 
going to be a pretty wild ride as we've already seen today. Either way, check it out.